Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and I'm here really quickly today to show off Heinbach's new plug-in amplifier, gong. Oh my God. Well, in the old days, we had these electromechanical instruments that didn't sound great, so we'd send them through special amplifiers, and gong is an emulation of one of those old-fashioned amplifiers. It was designed for the Andes Martineau, but it works on other things too. Let's take a look. Okay, well, just listen to this. I made a three track <laughs> chord progression and I have a pretty nice Andes sample library from Sonic Couture. I've used it. We also have um, drums an old-fashioned drum machine library, also from Sonic Couture, and uh, piano in the background. I'll shut up. Let's listen. So here we go. Everything has gone on it. That's the Andes on top. It's a monophonic instrument. High melody, here we go. Right, I'm going to stop that. Let's take a look at the interface for Gong. Gong amp, he's calling it. Well, as you can see right away, it's got this symbol, which is essentially the transducer. Um, and that is giving us some really nice effects. I'm gonna turn it off and let's listen to the raw sound. All right, back on again. I like this octave verb setting. Well, it's not the only setting. Obviously, there's um, presets, and those presets cover a lot of bases, including things that modulate. For instance, let's see if we can find one. Fascinating sounds. Well, it turns out this works very, very well on uh, drums, as uh, I, I'm just super happy with the way this works. So here's just the drums going through Broken Room. It's dry and wet. You can see over here, dry, wet. Let's listen to the drum machine without the gong amp. It's kind of an old school drum machine. It fuzzies it up in a really great way, doesn't it? Well, that's what an amplifier should do. It should add character and color. I'm digging that. And then I also have it on uh, my piano. So the piano ha is just kind of like, uh, has some character in the first place. This piano is basically outlining the bass and playing in tenths. Let's listen. And without it. Super simple. Well, Gong Amp is uh, made by Audio Thing in conjunction with Heinbach. Audio Thing's a great plug-in manufacturer that uh, they do impulse response stuff very, very well. And I have a bunch of their smaller plugins. Heinbach has done a couple of other things with them as well. Very grateful for this one because it's so furry. It's really hard to get these sine waves out of an Andes Martineau to sound animated. And if you want to take a old-fashioned analog drum machine and give it a little futz, send it through an amplifier. Well, what if you send it through an amplifier whose transducer is a brass disc? I'm a big fan of this plug-in. I, I hope you are too. And I think it's still 
as of right now, uh, on sale. It just was released a little while ago. Well, this isn't really a review of it because I didn't open up all the controls and do all those things that everybody does on YouTube. But, you know, I think you can probably see just from here, and I'm sure somebody else has done a review. I'm just here as an enthusiast. And if you haven't checked out Heinbach's channel on YouTube, do. The man has more old gear than anyone I've ever seen, and he's definitely the Bob Ross of uh, triodes, if you put it that way. Well, listen, I hope this has been useful. And uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff that we do to support each other. I, don't, I usually talk about theory, but I had to like mention this little piece of gear today. I'll see you next time.